In this short video I'll be talking about the automatic updates in the CGS Civil 3D tools, but in particular the automatic updating of point groups. With the Civil 3D tools we have what are called dynamic updates. Um, and so if I come up here to my dynamic updates, there's a lot of different options in here um, where we want to update station offset points. Um, a new one that we've just added here is called automatically update point groups. This has always been an issue for users if um, you delete a point from a group or whatever the you get a yellow flag and you always have to go back through and update your point groups. So that's what this is and I'll demonstrate this in a moment. We got our update our curb return profiles. I can click on that and make sure they update. Um, automatically update label um, assemblies. So if we change the name or you move it, it'll automatically update. And then we also have what's called a dynamic stepped offset. And we can always click on this just to update everything. So right now, I'm going to demonstrate this one, automatically update point groups. So right now, it's checked. So I'm going to go close. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just going to erase that point. Now, in the past, you would actually see a flag here. Or if I turn around and said, let's just copy this point here, move it over here. I go OK. Okay, it's got the same code of tree, so it knows to go into that tree. Now if I go back to update automatic points here and I take that out and I go close, and let's go ahead and try this. And now you can see it's flagging it, letting it me know that the point group has changed. So that's really what this command is doing. It's just being able to allow you to automatically update these point groups. When you make a change, you don't have to go back and make the update. 